हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ आई एम लवकुश जोगी आई हैव कंप्लीटेड एम एस इन एग्रीकल्चर सीड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी स्पेशलाइजेशन सीड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम एच एन बी जी एस सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी श्रीनगर उत्तराखंड इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी आई हैव गोट फिफ्टी टू रैंक इन पी एच डी प्रोग्राम सीड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम इंडियन काउंसिल ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल रिसर्च आई सी आर ऑल इंडिया एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन फॉर एडमिशन इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन टू डे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल अबाउट द टॉपिक सीड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ऑयल क्रॉप्स सनफ्लावर लैंड रिक्वायरमेंट्स सेलेक्ट फील्ड्स इन विच सनफ्लावर वॉज नॉट ग्राउंड इन द प्रीवियस ईयर अनलेस दे वर ऑफ द सेम वेराइटी एंड वर ऑफ प्लेंट आर हायर क्लास एंड वर सर्टिफाइड इन एडिशन द सेलेक्टेड फील्ड शुड बी वेल ड्रेनेड एंड द सोइल डीप फर्टाइल एंड विद न्यूट्रल पी एच आइसोलेशन रिक्वायरमेंट सनफ्लावर इज ए पार्टियली सेल्फ एंड क्रॉस पोलिटेड द एक्सटेंट ऑफ क्रॉस पोलिटेशन वेरीज फ्रॉम सेवेंटीन टू सिक्सटी टू परसेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू इंसेक्ट एक्टिविटी द सीड फील्ड मस्ट बी आइसोलेटेड एट लीस्ट बाई फोर हंड्रेड मीटर्स for foundation seed class and 200 meters for certified seed class from fields of other varieties same variety not conforming to varietal purity requirements and wild sunflower brief cultural practices first preparation of land usually one deep plowing two to three harrowings followed by leveling are adequate to prepare the field to the desired tilth second time of sowing sunflower unlike most other crop are not season bound bearing the periods periods of extreme freezing temperatures the sowing time can be adjusted as per availability of land for planting however sowing should be so adjusted that the maturity of the crop does not coincide with the rains since rains during maturity period adversely affects the seed quality three source of seed obtain nucleus breeder or foundation seeds from the source of proved by the seed certification agency for method of sowing the crop should be sown in row the depth of seedling should be 2 to 4 cm 5 spacing row to row 60 cm plant to plant 20 cm 6 seed rate 8 to 10 kg per hectare 7 fertilization the fertilizer required for raising a good sunflower crop is 80 kg nitrogen 40 kg phosphorus and 40 kg potash per hectare at the time of planting 50 kg nitrogen and the full amount of phosphorus and potash should be applied as a basal dose and the remaining 30 kg nitrogen at the time of earthing after 40 to 45 days of crop growth at irrigation pre sowing irrigation is necessary in the spring to summer season and desirable for ravi sowing for unformed germination and better stand sunflower is a comparatively drought tolerant and yields higher than sister oil seed crop under moisture stress conditions in ravi and jayad planting to and for irrigations respectively are necessary for higher yields in kharif in if rainfall distribution is favorable no irrigation may be required one irrigation be 20 between the following sorry one irrigation between the following and grain filling stage must be applied 9 weeding and interculture one to two weeding during the 
first six weeks after germination are necessary. Thereafter, growth rate is high and the crop covers the ground and smothers most of the weeds. Ten are the the sunflower plants may root log because of large heavy yields are thing preferably before and if needed after irrigation around 48 days after sowing is highly desirable 10 to 50 centi 15 cm high earthing is sufficient supplementary pollination placing of v he is on the field periphery or or on blank blank strip apro Gemetly at 200 meter intervals has been found beneficial for cross pollination and seed set. Hand pollination may also be restored to sunflower heads are gently rubbed with wear palm are covered with muesli cloth during the anthesis period between 7 am to 11 am and alternate days for about 2 weeks plant production disease alternaria blight may assume serious proportions in the rainy season and may reduce yields drastically and the dark brown and black colored spot of if seen on any plant part should be immediately sprayed with 0.25% of dithan m45 dithan z78 1 to 2 weeks intervals other diseases of minor importance are sclerotium wilt in july and august planting sclerotinia wilt in winter and charcoal rot in march plantings the affected plants should be uprooted and burnt growing of sunflower in longer duration rotational cycles is recommended pest and wards insect no serious pest of sunflower has been noticed the crops should be watched against attack by cutworms during the seeding seedling stage for heed borer heed borer damage at the bloom stage and for jessid attack all the time mixing of 5% heptachlor dust in soil at 15 kg per hectare will control cut worms and 1 to 2 sphere of 0.025% metas stocks 25 ac will take care of the other two insects worst damage in lonely maturing fields of sunflower weeds may cause extensive damage particularly when no other seasonal crop is in the grain stand Birds watching in such cases is imperative. In planting with a after the seasonal crop, the birds damage is minimal. Roging generally to roging are needed. The first should be done at the for flowering. stage and the second at the crop maturity before flowering tell very early very late branched 
as well as weak willed and diseased plants should be rogued out at the time of 75% crop maturity willed ornamental diseased damaged and all those plants which do not conform to the characteristics of the variety under seed production should be rogued out in addition to these plants affected by wilt charcoal rot blight ttc should also be removed from time to time as required precautions in roging for sunflower heed continue the develop and seed vival pollen even after removal from stalk it is therefore important that the heed after removal from stalks are turned down face down on the soil while throwing then on ground second sunflower is phototrophic until the early stage of flowering after ray flowers are fully developed the heed generally faces the east this features make roging inefficient in the row directions it is east west if the directions is north south this problem is eliminated it is therefore important that roging is always done looking westward at the heads harvesting and threshing the crop is ready for harvest when the top leaves are dry flowers or shriveled heads may be removed with the shears or knife heads after cutting or sun dried on the threshing floor hand threshing can also be done by rubbing seed heads on a metal sheet or beating with sticks Threshed seed must be dried to eight to ten percent moisture before storage. Seed yield, a good crop, may give an average yield of fifteen quintal per hectare. I am telling about the topic production of hybrid sunflower seed. Principle of hybrid seed production hybrid sunflower is produced by using cytoplasmic male sterility and genetic fertility restoration system male sterile line a line contains sterile cytoplasm and recessive gene for fertility restorations this is maintained by male fertile counter part counterpart line b which also contains reshure genes but has fertile cytoplasm for production of hybrid seed male strain a line is crossed with fertility restoring restoring line r line which has the dominant genes for fertility restorations but may we have be either sterile or fertile cytoplasm the restorer line r line should nick well with a line to produce f1 hybrid seed first production of male sterile line a line seed land requirements land requirements are the same as for open pollinated varieties isolation requirements seed must sorry seed fields must be isolated from other sunflower fields same line increase fields not conforming to varietal purity requirements of certification and wild sunflower species at least by 600 meters planting ratio 
द प्रपोर्सन ऑफ फीमेल लाइन ए लाइन एंड मेल लाइन बी लाइन शुड बी थ्री रेशियो वन हावर द फर्स्ट टू बॉर्डर रोज ऑन इधर साइड में बी सोन विद द मेल लाइन लाइन वी बी लाइन सी टू इंजर इन ऑफ पोलन सप्लाई सीड रेड ए लाइन सेवन पॉइंट फाइव के जी पर हेक्टेयर बी लाइन टू पॉइंट फाइव के जी पर हेक्टेयर अदर कल्चरल प्रैक्टिस आर द सेम एज डिस्क्राइब फॉर ओपन ओपन पोलिनेटेड वेराइटीज रोगी द मेल फर्टाइल प्लांट इन द फीमेल पेरेंट लाइन शुड बी रिमोड ईच डे ड्यूरिंग द इंटायर फ्लॉवरिंग पीरियड दिस इज बेस्ट डन द इन द मॉर्निंग हावर्स बिफोर द वीज हैव रिमोड द पोलन रोगिंग फॉर ऑफ टाइप शुड बी डन इन द सिमिलर मेनर एज डिस्क्राइब फॉर ओपन पोलिनेटेड वेराइटीज सप्लीमेंट्री पोलिनेशन For supplementary pollination and pollination, the palm is first gently rubbed on the male parent flower and then on the stigmas of the female line to transfer to the pollen. Harvesting, the male parent row should be harvested prior to harvest of of female row. to avoid contamination no male parents seeds should be left inter mingled with the female parents rows other aspect of harvesting are similar as described earlier for open pollinated varieties second production of maintainer line b line and restorer line r line seed the seed is produced in a isolated field in the manner similar to that described for opal pollinated varieties open pollinated varieties the isolation requirements however are higher and shall be same as given for production of a line seed above third production of hybrid sunflower seed land requirements land requirements are same of four open pollinated varieties isolation requirements seed must seed fields must be isolated at least by 400 meters from the field of other varieties commercial hybrid of the same variety fields of same hybrid seed production not conforming to varietal purity requirements of certification planting ratio the proportion the proportion of female parent a line male line r line should be kept at 3 ratio 1 how year the first two border row r on either side may be sown with the male parent seed to supply you know pollen seed red a line 7.5 kg per hectare r line 2.5 kg per hectare other practices are the same as described for the a line seed production thanks